you know, I like to switch it out sometimes. <laughs> so. Hello my beauty addicts family, it's your girl Val Janice Renee and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and ways to build wealth. So if you would like to see more of these types of videos, go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the beauty addicts family. This wig has a T part with ears, uh, with ear tabs. She has two combs at each tab and a comb in the back with adjustable straps. She also has a lace band for extra security. Her name is Audrina. And I got her in a sandy blonde color. She comes in about 10 other colors as well. Okay, you guys, we're going to start off with plucking the baby hairs. Now, I didn't do this on camera because it really didn't need a lot of plucking. Um, so I did it off camera and then I went into putting some foundation onto the lace. I use a 330 Fit Me and I am getting that all over my lace um, just so this could blend in with my scalp. Okay, after that, you guys, I go ahead and seal that makeup in with the Got To Be hairspray. The reason why I do that is because it actually darkens up the lace a little bit better when I seal it in and I apply the um, found apply the foundation with the hairspray. I am going to go ahead and cut off the extra lace, you guys, and uh, I like to do that off my head. I don't like to put the um, the wig on and then apply the lace um, I just don't like doing that okay you guys so make sure you go in and cleanse your scalp before you apply the lace so what I use is these alcohol balls and I actually make these alcohol balls I put some alcohol in a container and I put some cotton balls in there and I just fill it up you guys I keep this on a regular for pretty much a lot of things um, that I use alcohol for and I have that already pre-made um, that is one of my favorite things to do because my grandmother used to do it back in the day day so um, she taught me how to do this so that way you can have alcohol ready alcohol pads readily made that you pretty much made yourself um, so as you guys can see, I am applying a few layers of that got to be hairspray on my scalp um, before I apply the wig so that way I can get a better hold um, and I am laying that lace down with the got to be hairspray. And you, as you guys know, I don't like to use my fingers to lay the uh, wig down. So as you guys can see, I am using that um, silver part of the comb. So I have uh, a lot of these combs that just have like the silver endings to, or, to it. Um, I can cleanse that with alcohol, you guys, and make sure that it, it stays sanitized um, before I do this so every time I do this or apply my wigs I always sanitize that end of the silver piece because you want to make sure that you know it's not gritty it's not you know have any hairspray on it because it can uh, what is it it can cake up a little bit if you don't cleanse it All right, you guys, so I am also using that hair dryer just to get a very secure hold. Um, then I apply a, a, um, a lace band onto it. Um, I just took it off. I had it on for a minute 
and now I am trying to decide if I am going to go ahead and do some baby hairs or not I did go in you guys and I brought out those baby hairs um, I did it and then you're gonna see later in the video where I decided you know what I um, these baby hairs are too thick for me they're just not me you guys to me it it don't when you wear I don't know for me it just don't give it a natural look and I am always going for a natural look especially when I'm wearing a um, synthetic wig and since this wig is synthetic I wanted to make sure I go in and make it look as natural as possible um, it already looks very natural and this is what it looks like when I did apply baby hairs but if you guys are baby hair lovers go ahead and do that uh, bring your baby hairs down I didn't show you guys how I did that on camera because I ended up taking the baby hairs away um, my lace is pretty much laid down flawlessly you guys and I absolutely loved it um, so now we're going to get into the styling of this hair you guys the hair it did it wasn't giving me the vibes that I was looking for as far as you know what the curls was doing so I went in and I curled it some more as you guys can see I took away the baby hairs so the baby hairs are no longer there <laughs> so um, so I went in to style this hair I just put some curls in it and I wanted to show you guys that you can actually although this is a synthetic wig you can actually use heat to your hair your synthetic wigs to actually style it the way you want it to to be styled um, I do use you know like those bobby pins as you guys can see to kind of hold the curl um if you want that's the best way to actually get the curls the way you want it to be if you want more of a um tighter curl and then i realized i actually after i curled it and i did all the little bobby pins and stuff the curls was just it was just doing too much right so um as you guys can see i am taking them down and the curls was just too tight for me so I went back in and I kind of loosened those curls up a little bit more you're gonna see that in in a few seconds how I go back in and um, yeah just taking some of that those tighter curls in the front and kind of loosen it up a little bit just to give me what I'm going for in the front just in the front you guys I didn't go back in the back where I curled the rest of it and do any additional curls so um, but yeah that is actually what I'm looking for that flow in the front and as you guys can see this hair curls really really nicely make sure if it says on the packaging of uh, your hair I think this one said it's about 400 degrees don't go over that um, in reality I wouldn't go over 350 I would actually test 350 before I even go in with a 400 but I think I ended up using 400 with the hot tools uh, curling iron that I use when I curl this hair but other than that I absolutely love the way this was looking it was turning out um, after I even took that those baby hairs away this was the look that I was going for you guys but I, I probably should have kept the, um, the baby hairs only because you guys I burnt my <laughs> my forehead you might can see a little bit of a burn spot y'all I ain't had no burnt forehead since I was a little girl since I was getting you know my hair pressed out with the pressing comb and I didn't even burn my hair uh my head then um you know whoever was doing my hair actually burnt my my head but yeah I had a, I had to cover that up with some makeup <laughs> Okay, let's get into the specs of this wig. This wig is by Sensational's Melted Hairline Lace Front Wig. It's in the color DR4 Sandy Blonde. Her style is Ardrina. She is heat safe up to 350 degrees to 400. She does have a HD lace, uh, which is very transparent. She has a center middle part, you guys, with baby hairs. Also, she is big head girl friendly. But I will put a link down in the description bar so you can just go ahead and purchase her if you want to purchase her like in another different color or whatever it is 
her length she is about to my a little past my shoulders she comes about right here so I started preparing this wig for an install and when I started preparing this wig for an install I decided not to pluck her um, yes. not she has baby hairs but I always like to go back and like take the baby hairs a little bit off and kind of create my own baby hairs and I did put baby hairs on her then I decided I didn't want to use them after I put her on her texture is a little bit more yakier, but you guys, I went back in and styled her with the curling iron, and just so I can get the kind of look that I was going for, I didn't like the way they styled this wig, so, but once I went in and put what I needed on it, you know put the curls in how I wanted the curls to look and I did not curl the back of this hair at all so she I only took the curling iron to the front of the hair um, I put too many curls in and in the beginning but I, I went back in and kind of pressed it out a little bit but I absolutely fell in love with her when I tell you she reminds me of Martina but she is in blonde I love the way they colored her roots her roots are so pretty um, so that made it look so much more natural to me. I almost made like it was looking like it was coming out of my scalp if you guys can see. But so we're going to go ahead and do a full 360 on this wig you guys. So of course this is going to be the front of the wig. And she is definitely giving. And this is going to be your side view of the wig you guys. And this is my left side and this side right here is my right side and when I tell you she's not shedding or anything like the girl she was shedding when if you cut off the lace you want to get a little bit of shedding and my back side so she comes you know almost bra length but not quite bra length and I did not love it once I curled her and put those curls in her and she's kind of flowing the way I want her to flow and yes honey you can put heat to her so she when, is big hair girl friendly which is not a bad thing I took a lot of hair off like on the sides if you can see like she still is laying and I was even to, able to get her ear tabs so like if I wanted to wear her behind my ear I could definitely wear her behind my ear let me show y'all this side when I tell you I am you can definitely do sideburns if you are you know like the little sideburn things but she does give off very naturally and another thing you guys I went in with uh, the got to be glue spray if you've seen it in the beginning but when I went back when I came back out and I changed up the baby hairs you guys I decided to use my baby and I'm just gonna let y'all know that this bed had TGI when I tell you I love it for the fact that the I, if I have to go with this I would go with this it still gives me a really nice hold but if I had to choose you guys definitely the TGI bed head the reason why I say that is because the TGI bed head gives you a um, hardly any flaking like the got to be gives a little bit more flakiness to the to your hair so if you're not wanting to do uh, get that flaky feel or anything like that you definitely want to go in with the TGI bed head and um, and it's going to give you a really nice hold to me it doesn't give you like that crusty look on your lace so <laughs> Audrina can definitely be your go-to girl so you want to go in and just put her on cut that lace off girl she is a go-to for the winter time so if you're liking this blonde look go ahead hit that thumbs up on this video give me a like and subscribe remember it's not gonna cost you a thing if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can see when I try on more so I have my husband love the fact that mm, one day I'm one girl then the next day I can be whoever I want to be right <laughs> so go ahead grab Audrina Audrina is your girl so you want to grab her and yeah this is the look <laughs> 